I met Charlie Bronson. I got to be honest with you. Um, Did you speak to him? To speak to Charlie? Yeah, he, he, I wrote about him in my book, The Death of Justice. Yeah, I, Charlie spoke up for me. Um, one of the prison officers was trying to bully me, and Charlie went in there and said, "If you've got a problem with him," and I was only a little skinny thing. I was only about eight stone, something like that. Charlie was this big lump, and he went in and he said, "You, you." you touch him you've got me to deal with and they went all right charlie all right no 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 you know and i thanked him for that you know what i mean because he did stick up for me he was a cons con you know and i want to you know the myths in the paper uh he's this most dangerous person i know he's done some crazy things but he is not a murderer and he gets treated worse than a sex offender and i find that really really offensive you know what i mean when you consider he never killed anyone yes he's done things he's taking people hostage you put the full story behind it it's only the people in prison who know the story when he took a governor hostage he asked for a helicopter and an ice cream can you really take the guy serious if he wanted to hurt that governor believe me he could have hurt that governor he could what about <laughs> what about yeah. other characters other than bronson well i'm i'm i met jeremy bamba we met jeremy yeah, I know Jeremy, and I, I believe yeah. he's a victim of a miscarriage of justice. That's yeah, why. well, so do I. I don't know if you've seen any of my coverage, but um, yes, and actually, I have. we've I, done, I, we've done a, um, and in fact, I don't know if you're able to pull this up, uh, Jody, but we've done a, an investigation, three part investigation for News Quest, which is on our YouTube channel about the Jeremy Bamber investigation case, and and I actually absolutely believe he is innocent and, and like you, but give me your sense why. Well, I, I tell you why. I met him in Long Latin. He was on the same wing as me. He was on D wing in Long Latin. He was about three doors away from me. And when he came in, he was having a hard time. You can imagine some of the prisoners didn't take too kindly to the crime he was alleged to have committed. And I, I remember reading some of the documents he had, like on the ballistic testing and all that. And he always protested his innocence. All he wanted to talk about, he was like me, obsessed with the case. Yeah, you know and, and he and he'd sit in his jail, of course, wouldn't he? And here we are. You can see there now the uh, uh, the Jeremy Bamber investigation, which sets out you know, my view in terms of what took place. And and he, you know, I've written to Jeremy, and we've communicated on you know a lot of times. And Jeremy has his his. You, know, you can see there. There's my name, dear Mahak, and uh, his his letters. You know, his files. They make up his his room. Well, i got a lot of time for Jeremy Van, but for the simple fact is he's done so long and he's still there fighting. And it's difficult, you know, mentally, you know, to fight a miscarriage of justice yeah. case. Well, a life, he's, he's one of the few life, lifers who will, who's been deemed by the Home Secretary. Uh, and as a result of that will, unless, of course, his conviction is quashed, will never be released. Well, I, I think that's another issue because I don't think that's right, you know, to be honest. I think that's a, another human right. I think, I think um, whether it's innocent and dog guilty, you've got to give them some hope. I mean, to cut somebody off like that. But with Jeremy, I know he's got, you know what I mean? I'm, in, I'm a patron of his, of his organisation, you know what I mean, set up for him, the Jeremy Bamba campaign. I'm in contact with uh, Yvonne and many other people. I yep. speak at some of their events. And I, I even took Jeremy's T-shirt to Armenia with me when I went over uh, on the British Horizons and they were asking me about miscarriages of justices when I went on the TV show and I had um, free Jeremy Bamba, 30 years wrongfully imprisoned. 